This problem says, suppose in a certain city that each year about 3% of the population moves to the suburbs and the rest remain in the city. About 5% of the suburban population moves to the city and the rest remain in the suburbs. Construct a difference equation to describe the population in the city and suburbs. Compute the population of the city and suburbs in three years if the current population of the city is 200,000 people and the current population of the suburbs is 100,000 people. So let's say, uh, we'll say X sub zero is the initial population. So we'll say in the city and the suburbs. So in the city, the initial population is 200,000 and the suburbs it's 100,000. All right. So to get the next year's population, we need to think about what's being said here. So the city population um, is going to be given in two parts, right? So part of it is they're retaining their own people that live in the city. They're also going to gain some that come from the suburbs. So the city population in the next year, 3% um, moved to the suburbs, the rest of them remain in the city. So we'll say point nine seven of 200,000, that's 97% of the population of the city are gonna stay. And then we're also gonna add the new people that come in from the suburbs. So it says 5% of the suburbs, uh, the suburban population moves to the city. So I'm going to add 5% of the suburbs. And that is the city population in the second, in the, yeah, after one year. So we'll call that X1. All right, we'll do this again for the um, suburban population. So if 5% leave, then... 95% stay. I'm going to write this over here. All right, so 95% of that 100,000 are going to stay. And they're also going to gain people from the city that are going to move to the suburbs. And this tells us that about 3% are going to move to the suburbs. So this will be my suburban population. And what you could see here is this X1 is, you know, these are linear combinations. I can write this as a matrix times a vector. Or if we think about um, this dot product multiplication here, right? It's, 0.97 times 200,000 and 0.05 times 100,000. That's what I wrote here. Uh, the second row, 3% times 200,000, 95% times 100,000. That's what I wrote here. Right? So this is um, our um, kind of a formula for how to find this next vector. And this is this matrix times the X zero vector. Let's see what it actually is. Let's actually multiply this out. So I'm just gonna quickly use a calculator. So after one year, the city will have 199,000. And let me do the suburban population. The suburban population gained 1,000. So now they have 101,000. So we have this relationship that X1 is equal to matrix A times X of zero. 
And, you know, how are we going to get X2? What, you know, if, if we just assume this continues, then after two years, we're going to multiply the same matrix times X1. So let's find the population after two years. Use the same matrix. And now I'm going to multiply by the new um, population vector. So again, I'll just use a calculator. I'm just using a handheld here. So I get 198. 080 for the city. And 101, 920 for the suburbs. All right, so that's our population in after two years. And we can see that that Population in the city is going down, population in the suburbs is going up. So the problem asks for after three years, we're going to do the same thing. Multiply the same matrix times our new population. So let's see what this is. So I'm going to round this one. This has a decimal. This one did as well, I'll just rounded that one. So this is our city population. This is our sub suburbs population uh, after three years. So this is the answer to the question. But let's talk about these difference equations a little bit more. So X2 is A times X1, but X1 is A times X of zero, right? So this is the same thing as A times a times x zero. So that's a squared times x of zero. Okay. What about x three? Well, uh, we'd multiply a times x two. So if I multiply a times this, that's a cubed times x sub zero. And you can just keep going forward and doing this. And we could say, you know, for any year, it would be a to the number of years after x sub zero to that power times the initial population vector. So we call this a difference equation. You know, you can also use um, this definition. The next year is a times the previous year, okay? So both of those would be considered difference equations and they're pretty uh, powerful things and uh, they're gonna come up again when we get to eigenvalues.